Hi there, I'm Cecilia Jane and today I'm going to be showing you guys what's in my pencil case. So I actually did this video about two years ago, but obviously some things have changed. Um, there are still some familiar materials that will be in there from the last video, but a lot has changed like I said and I do have like a new pouch as well. So I'm just going to kind of talk about the supplies that's in there and kind of what I use it for. So yeah, if you want to see what's in my pencil case, stay tuned. Alright guys, so here is my pencil case or kind of my art pouch. Um, if you've seen the video that I did, uh, I'm not sure how many years ago it was. I'll put a little clip right here of it. I did have a different pouch, so I did change pouches. This one is slightly bigger, which I was kind of worried about upgrading the size because I don't want to be one of those people where I'm like, oh, just keep adding a few more things and then just having to get bigger and bigger pouches. I like a smaller pouch so that it's like more portable. But you know, this isn't too big of a size upgrade. So I just figured, you know, what the heck? Like, I like it too because it's green and then it has this little strap on it so you can like hold it. I actually got this from my grandma. So it unzips like this. And I believe she probably got it from like her doctors or something because it was like for medical supplies. Um, as you can see, it says Tylenol family travel medicine chest. So actually it was probably like a kit she got in the store or something. And then it comes with like this little card, this little card that has your contact information. I just have like my email on it. But yeah, and then it has this little section right here where it has this little zippy area and then two little kind of compartments that you can put things in. Um, honestly, I don't really put too many things in here just because it's they're kind of hard to take out like sometimes because it just gets so crammed. And then also occasionally I'll put this pouch in here because it actually does fit. So I'll put this pouch in here occasionally and then this pouch is just lifestyle. Um, I think it's, it's just a random pencil pouch I got from my friend. And inside of it I just have my Molotow markers, which this is the extent of my collection right now, which it does fit in here, it all fits in here, but you know, if I buy more I don't think they'll all fit in here, but for right now this is like how I store them. Kind of just with my pouch. So anyways, let's get into the contents of this. So if you have watched that video I did in the past, um, some things have changed, but I do have some staple supplies that I usually always keep with me. So there may be some repetition, but I do think it's changed quite a bit. So I have a little pin right here too. Um, yeah, I just have this little leaf pin. I don't know, I, I should put it somewhere, but it's just in here right now. And then also I do plan to like, I've had this for a minute now and I do wanna decorate the cover with something really cool. So if you guys wanna see a video on me decorating my art pouch, give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment in the comment section. Okay, so in here we have a little Altoids tin and this just has some dried up gouache in it that you can like reactivate. And if I'm ever out and really just wanna add like a pop of color or just need a little bit and wanna use something kind of like watercolors, you can use this. I used to be all about the idea of this, but I have not used this in forever. Honestly, if I'm gonna watercolor, I usually just bring like watercolor with me, but this is nice to have and it's a good idea to like just keep some dried up gouache with you. You can use it as watercolor. I have my backup pencil erasers and lead. Um, I like to work with 2B. Well, actually I like to work with a much softer lead, like a 4B or an 8B. This is just what I have in my bag. I don't think they make lead a lot softer than that. I feel like I've tried to fight it, but I don't know. That's what I have. And then these are the eraser caps for a pencil that we will get to once we get into this section. And then I just have a little measuring tape. Is this a measuring tape? It's like one of those ones you use if you're like a clothing designer or something. Um, it's just kind of convenient to have if I if I need to know the measurement of something like really long, this is just small and compact. I just put a piece of tape around it just to keep it all together. All right, so this was semi-organized of like stuff I use more frequently and then stuff I use less frequently. Because when I first like put everything in this pouch, I did organize it a little bit, but uh, I don't know if that organization is really kept. <laughs> um, if it's really true to what I just said, but we'll see. Um, also, there's this little pouch on the side, which is kind of nice. And in here, I just have this tiny little measuring tape, which I think is like a gag gift that I got at Dick Flick, but honestly, it's super convenient. It measures up to three feet, and I'm like constantly measuring stuff. Like, I'm, I'm always measuring stuff. So this is just so nice to have. And then it has that little thing where you can, yeah. I just, I always measure stuff, so it's really nice to have. And then we just have this little gold clip in here. And then I think I actually keep my ruler in there as well. Um, 
This is just a Pacific art ruler. Um, I like it because it's super small and compact. It measures in inches and in centimeters. It's very sturdy. And then on the back, it has some like basic conversions, which is kind of cool. Um, yeah, I just really like it because it's really sturdy and it's small. You know, if I just need to make some like straight edges or something, it's really nice to have. All right, and then we have my kneaded eraser, which the kneaded eraser that's in here isn't the kneaded eraser that says on the front. Um, I think that one just got old and I just put a new one in here. But the reason I kept this little case was because when things are just kind of floating around in my pencil case, they can get, you know, like pencil shavings on them or just kind of debris. So it's nice to have this little case to keep it in there. And the case is from Lyra, Germany. I'm not gonna even try to say that, but yeah, basically a kneaded eraser. And then in here, I think this is just a Dick Blick kneaded eraser. So that's what that is. I have a basic Sharpie because, you know, sometimes you just need a Sharpie to like mark things. I have two different mechanical erasers, which if you guys aren't familiar with what mechanical erasers are, basically it's just like a mechanical pencil, but it's an eraser and you know, you can pump it and it's nice because they can get a lot of detail. And I have two different sizes. This one is the Mono Zero Tomboy, Tomboy, I always say Tomboy, Tombow Mono Zero. And it says 2.3 at the end, so I don't know what that exactly means. And then this one, all of the labeling is pretty much came off. I think it says Factus M2, I don't know. But you can find these like everywhere. Just look up mechanical eraser. We have a Stabilo Fine Point 4 in gray. And it's just nice if you wanna do like gray line art. Truthfully, I really don't use this that often, but if you don't wanna have as harsh of a line art as black, a gray one's nice. I have a Papermate Ink Joy Gel 0.7. And I think this is like one of my favorite types of pens just cause I like how smooth it is. Uh, as you guys can see, it's just like, it's so buttery and smooth. Although it does not be my absolute favorite pen, which is the Toll Pen. This one is just so smooth, but honestly they're pretty comparable, but I don't keep this one in my bag. I just have this one on my desk for like business related manners. But yeah, this is one of my favorite pens. And this one again is not in my pouch, but this is the Pilot G2. This one is super smooth as well. I just like like really juicy pens. <laughs> we have my Pentel ink brush pen. Um, this thing I have had forever, probably six years or more. Um, it's actually a very popular art item, I believe. And it's just a really nice brush pen and it's refillable. That's why I've had it for so long. Oh, I need to put a new cartridge in, but um, yeah, this is just super nice. You, there's so much variation of width. Um, it's always juicy, you know, if you keep the cartridges filled. Um, you can do dry brushing with it, all sorts of things. It's probably the best brush pen out there depending on like what you're looking for. Then I just have a Golden Uniposca. This is in the size 5M. I just like adding touches of gold to things. I just really like gold. I like metallic. So this is just for if I'm doodling around in my sketchbook and just want, you know, a little, little touch of gold. I just have a standard Bic um, mechanical pencil in size 0.9. I like like a thicker lead. Traditionally, you have like a 0.7 or a 0.5. This is a 0.9, so it's a little bit rare. Just, you know, a mechanical pencil. I have my pencil sharpener, which I got this one at Dick Blake. So this, the top just comes off like that and then you can empty it like that. The only complaint I have about this eraser or this sharpener is that sometimes all of the sharpenings will get stuck in there, like they won't go down and then it won't sharpen at all. And then you have to unclog it because it's so compact right there. But the reason I like this sharpener is because of the size. Obviously you can see it's kind of like a mascara wand almost and it fits in a bag really nicely. Whereas like a big chunky block kind of fits a little awkwardly. So I like this size and kind of the shape of this one. Then we come to my kind of two fancier mechanical pencils. This one's a Graph Gear 500.7 uh, Pentel. This is what I have that extra erasers for and extra lead for this pencil. And it just has some normal graphite in it right now. And then this one is a Pentel as well. Um, this one's a 0.5 and this one also has the eraser like the other one. And then this one I actually keep red lead in because I don't know, it's kind of fun to like draw with red lead sometimes. 
So this is the most recent mechanical pencil I have purchased and it's like probably my favorite. I use it the most. Um, this is the brand Uli. It's O-O-L-Y. I don't know exactly how many millimeters thick it is. It doesn't say on here, but as you can see, this is the 0.9, so it's significantly thicker. I think it's like 1.8 or something like that. So yeah, as you can see, it's like significantly thicker. I just really like drawing with a thick lead. I'm not sure why, but I just think it's really nice. The only downside to this pencil is that it doesn't have an eraser at the top, but at the top it does have a sharpener, which is kind of cool, a sharpener for the lead. So you just take it off and you can sharpen the lead. Um, but I actually like working with the dull lead, so I don't sharpen it. But yeah, this is really fun. If you've never drawn with thick lead, I highly recommend it. It's kind of fun. And I just purchased this at Dick Blick. It was like kind of in the novelty items, so like kind of the fun items. And it was like a pack of four, and it came with like some lead and refills and stuff, so. Then I have this Sakura Jelly Roll. Um, it's just like a little gel pen, and it's kind of like a rose gold. It's just really pretty if I'm like, doing anything I just again want to add like you know a little little bit of decoration and sorry if this stuff's kind of dirty I mean obviously I use it and it's like in a little pouch where other dirty things are so things just kind of get a little dirty but yeah so this is a jelly roll um Sakura doesn't really say the color but yeah it's like this rose gold and it's really pretty and then I always keep a Prismacolor Cola Race I keep one in blue um, and then I also keep one in pink and right now this one's in a pencil extender because as you can see it's very small um, I like to get my money's worth and also I just think small pencils are so cute I kind of save them I plan to do something with them but it's kind of cool to get like the full pencil usage you know so pencil extenders are really nice I would definitely recommend getting a set you know you save a lot of money like utilizing the full potential of your pencil so yeah I have a blue color race and then a pink color race. And then usually what I draw with is I either draw with a 4B or an 8B pencil. I just like like a uh, softer lead. Um, so this is my favorite type of graphite pencil. It's the Kimberly 4B General Pencil Co. Um, I love these pencils. I bought a pack of 12 of them off Amazon because I just go through them so quickly and I love them. And then it just has like this Pentel eraser cap on it um, just because it doesn't have the eraser on the end of it. And then I just keep an extra in here because this one's kind of running low and if I'm doing a graphite drawing, I'll go through it pretty quickly. So, And then I just keep two colored pencils in here. I have a white colored pencil and a black colored pencil. Again, it's in a pencil extender and my cat chewed the back of this if you're wondering why it's all like gross looking. I use these... You know, if I have like black paper, like this one, if I have like black paper, or black canvas, and I want to sketch onto it, and this one, if I'm doing like a dark drawing and I just want some black color pencil or something like that. I have this clip in here, which um, is nice if you're drawing, you want to keep your sketchbook down or keep a piece of paper on a drawing board. It's just nice to have clips. And then this is by far my favorite eraser. I have a bunch of extras because I just never want to run out, but it's the Stadler's Mars Plastic. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right. It's like Stadler or something. It's S-T-A-E-D-T-L-R, I believe. Um, this is kind of ripped to shreds because I've had it for a long time. But yeah, it's like the best eraser. I love it so much. I've been using it forever. And then I have like kind of a semi-complete set of microns. Um, I don't know what keep what pouch I keep them in. I use them semi-frequently, but not a whole lot. I have a 0 0.08, 0 0.01, 0 0.05, 0 0.03, and then a brush. Um, you know, these are obviously just good for lining, I'm sure. If you guys know anything about art supplies, you probably know what microns are. They're pretty popular, so yeah. I just have a blending tortillion if I'm doing a graphite drawing and I need to blend. Uh, that's what this is for. This pouch also has kind of this like division thing in it. Like you can you can keep this in here. You don't have to. It's Velcroed in, but it's to separate them. I like the separation. Um, the more compartments, the better. So I just keep that in there. So that's everything that's on the left side, which is kind of like my more frequently used supplies, which I say that in quotes because it's kind of organized. <laughs> All right, and then now we turn to the left side. So first I have this mild liner brush by Zebra. It has a brush end and then it has a bullet end and I just really like this kind of periwinkle color. So if I'm just doing a drawing, wanna add a pop of color to it, that's nice. I have an aqua brush for, you know, if I'm watercoloring or if I wanna use those little bits of gouache, just keep one of these in here. Or if you wanna smear around ink or marker or something like that. I have a charcoal pencil, which I don't use charcoal that often, but it's just nice to have the option of it. I have these two um, zebra mild liners. These are different from the other ones though, because these are like the 
highlighter, like the chisel and then the bullet nib. Um, I have like a pink and then a blue and then I thought I had a yellow in here as well. Oh yeah, I do, it's right here. Um, so kind of the primary set, I just like adding pops of color to my sketchbook sometimes, so those are nice for that. And then I have this Ecoline brush pen, which I think it's actually water soluble. I think that's kind of like its thing. Um, so you can use that with this and kind of smear it around. Um, it's just nice, you know, if you want to add some pink cheeks to your your drawing or, you know, just a little pop of pink or something. And then I also have a red one, if you guys couldn't tell, because <laughs> my nails are always red and I like to wear a lot of red. Red's my favorite color, so I have this really pretty poppin' red color. Also, I just really like, like, the the bounciness of these markers and how, like, saturated and kind of juicy they are. If you guys can see, they're just really nice and satisfying to work with if you want to like fill up a whole area. And then I have three of these Tombow. As you can see the labeling is kind of almost completely off on all of them. But they're just, I just have three different colors. Um, I couldn't even tell you guys the colors because they're so worn. But it's just some different shades of gray. And they have a brush tip and then they have I think a bullet nib on this side. Yeah, so that's just nice if you just want to add some subtle shadows um, to your characters. These are water-based though, which usually people prefer alcohol-based markers, which, you know, I, I kind of do too, but these are just nice to have just to pop in there and they're not as chunky as the Copics, so that's why I just have these in here. And I believe they're a little bit cheaper, I could be wrong, but yeah, just basically for shadows and stuff. And then I have this Play Color 2 marker by Tombow, and it's just red again and then it has this kind of bullet nib fine liner side i just like red again so i have another one of these paper may ink joy pens um i just have it in navy i really like the pairing of red and navy together so i like to keep a red and a navy in my pouch so that i can do drawings with them yeah again this is just a really nice smooth pen so then i have this thing which honestly i haven't used it in a while um i got this at the store called here we go it's it's muji m u J-I. I got this book while I was there. They just had a lot of really cute stationery. So that's where this is from. Um, it just has like a bullet nib and then a fine liner end. I just think it's kind of fun. I have an extra one of these pencils um, just because I like hate to run out of things if I if it's a supply I use a lot um, and I'm out. I just like to have an extra. It's probably not necessary but and then I have a zebra fountain pen which truly I don't use that too much but it's kind of fun to have in there. It, again it writes really smoothly. Kind of. It's kind of it's probably a little dry. It's probably a little old but I like the idea of writing with a fountain pen. I just don't. <laughs> then I have a Derwent sketching medium wash 4b so this is a water soluble graphite so if I want to do like a watercolor graphite drawing that's what this is for I have the jelly roll by I think it's Sakura or Pentel anyways these are super popular a lot of people use them for white highlights but I'll be honest with you guys since I found the Molotow markers um, I used to keep a uniposca a white uniposca in my pouch but now I keep a um, Molotow white paint marker in there because I just prefer Molotow over Uniposca just a little bit. Just a little bit more. So I'll keep this in the pouch, but since I end up bringing this marker pouch with me anyways, I just keep this in here in the set, but I usually always have one of those. Yeah, these are nice for highlights. They're not as opaque and sometimes they don't work as well, but you know, it's a nice backup, I suppose. Got a little piece of gum wrapper. <laughs> and then I have a Stabilo brown liner in 0.4. So it was like this gray one. It's just in brown. Again, if you don't want to have as harsh of line art, you can use a different color than black. So I just keep those in there. And then we finally have a pink little paper clip. <laughs> what a little boring thing to end on, but yeah. And then this pouch also has these little organizers or whatever. I don't use them, but yeah, so that was everything. If you guys ever want me to go like more in depth with the supplies, like kind of how I use everything, how everything swatches, that kind of thing, I'd totally be up for that, but I just didn't want this video to be too, too long. So yeah, that's that's pretty much everything in my pouch. <laughs> All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this video a little bit and learned maybe a bit more about me as an artist. If you enjoyed it, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know down in the comments below what are your must-use supplies. Also, be sure to hit that subscribe subscribe button if you want to see more videos from me. But yeah, thanks so much for watching. Bye guys. And now it's time to thank my wonderful Patreons who support me as an artist and get some awesome rewards in return. Like their names at the end of my videos, stickers, zines, bookmarks, and much more. If that sounds like something that interests you, check out the link in the description.